simplifying with the quotient property. We're going to simplify three, three quotients here, three radicals using the quotient property. The first one is the square root of three divided by four. And, and remember the, the quotient property is if you have the square root of a over b, that is equal to the square root of a over the square root of b. So we're going to use that in this one. We also will use the product property for one of the examples. So the square root of 3 over 4 equals the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. And then we'll just have the square root of 3 over, and the square root of 4 is just 2. So we can rewrite the square root of 4 as 2. And, and we're done with that one. OK, the next one we have the square root of 20 over 4. So the square root of 20, we can rewrite as the square root of, of, we can rewrite it as the square root of 4 times 5, and that's over 4. And then we can rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 using the product property. And that's still over 4. And now we can rewrite it and, and take the square root of 4. So that's 2 times the square root of 5. And that's all over 4. And now we can simplify the, the 2 and the 4. They're both divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So on the top, we're just left with the square root of 5. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So it's the square root the square root of 5 over 2 and and we're done there's nothing more that we can do with that one okay this last one is the square root of 32 over 50 and using the quotient property we can rewrite this as the square root of 32 over the square root of 50 and then and then let's factor each of these so we have 32 which is the same thing as 2 times 16. So we can write this as the square root of 2 times 6, whoops, of 16 over the square root of 2 times 25. And I'm choosing these numbers because I want to find factors that are perfect squares. And 16 is a perfect square, and so is 25. So that's why I chose to factor those two numbers that way. And then we can rewrite this as the square root of 2 times the square root of 16 over the square root of 2 times the square root of 25. And this is using the product property. And now we can simplify things further. Well, the square root of 16 is just 4. So on the top we have 4 times the square root of 2. And in the denominator, we have, well, the square root of 25 is 5, so we have 5 times the square root of 2. And it's okay for me to, to put the 4 out front, because remember, with multiplication, it doesn't matter which order you multiply things in. And we're almost done. The only thing I can do at this point is cancel out the square root of 2s, because we have one on the, uh, in the numerator and one in the denominator, so those can cancel out. And we're just going to be left with 4 fifths. So as you can see, the square root of 32 over 50 can be simplified to 4 fifths. And you should be getting a, a better idea of working with radicals and simplifying using the product property and the quotient property.